Hey guys, as you remember, about two weeks ago we posted a video with unboxing of Humodachi Bison Pro. I am back with this smartphone, and now I want to talk with you about performance of this mobile device. Humodachi Bison Pro is a rugged smartphone, but it has good chipset, Helio G80, as well as 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. There is also a version with 8 gigs of RAM. Ok, let's start the performance test with benchmarks, and then we will play some games. You know I expected a good performance from Yumodichi Bison Pro, because Hila G80 is a quite fresh chipset. It was released in 2020. However, the new smartphone from Yumodichi has only 151,000 points in Antutu. The next benchmark is Hikbench 5. Yumodichi Bison Pro has 336 points in single-core test and 1281 points in multi-core test. We can see that performance of the new Yumodichi smartphone is about the same as Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 that was released two years ago. I have also run 3D Mark. The overall score in Wild Life Test is 686. The average frame rate is only 4.10. You can also see memory speed, Wi Fi speed, and GPS accuracy. Everything is fine with that. In addition, the new smartphone has NFC. Ok, now let's play some games. I want to start with the heaviest Android game that I know, Genshin Impact. First of all, the game starts up, and that's a good thing. You can even play it comfortably on Yumodichi Bison Pro. However, the graphics is very low. After about 30 minutes of playing, the smartphone is warm, but not hot. The next game is PUBG Mobile. As you can see, the maximum graphics is HD, and the frame rate is high. Just like Genshin Impact, you can comfortably play PUBG Mobile. I have also tried Asphalt 9 and Call of Duty. No significant problems with these games either. So, Yumodichi Bison Pro has quite low results in benchmarks, but you can play any games on this smartphone. You know, I have noticed that even budget mobile devices in 2021 run heavy games. I think uh, this is because uh, game developers make good optimization for cheap smartphones. Yes, yeah, the graphic is slower than on more expensive mobile devices, but you can still play any games on a budget phone. That's very good. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will talk about camera of Yumodichi Bison Pro. Stay tuned.